Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Sorry for no videos yesterday. Uh, I felt really bad. I probably should have done at least one yesterday, honestly. I just couldn't get around to it. So now we are going to have a whole bunch of videos today because to kind of make up for it. Um, I think what I'm also going to be doing as well is that I'm going to be doing a stream most likely next week, um, either Tuesday or Thursday. Um, I just gonna, I want to actually get a little bit more information done before I do the black thing. I'm going to be doing that, and I'll be doing another segment probably maybe Thursday if I can get around to it. Without further ado, though, we're going to go into the actual big news here. Or not big news, but the news that should be talked about. We have a huge win to this today. We have a huge win. Or actually yesterday. Where we had a uh, transgender swimmer, Leah Thomas, is out of Olympics after being dealt fatal legal blow. Says transgender swimmer Leah Thomas demands she be allowed, he, to be exact, be allowed to compete against women in the Olympics has been dealt a federal blow after he lost a crucial lawsuit. Thomas, 25, had asked the court of, of arbitration for support to overturn a ban on biological males competing against women in hopes of racing in the, at the Games. He first rose to prominence after becoming the first trans transgender athlete to win a NCAA college title in 2022 and has since been banned from competing against biological women in international events following a change in regulations. World Aquatics changes policy so that, tra so that transgender women can only compete in women's races if they are, have completed their transition, transition by the age of 12. Thomas argued those roles should have be declared invalid and unlawful and broke the Olympic Charter and the World Aquatics Convention. In the, in the decision handed down at the Court of Arbitration for, support, for Sport, they concluded that Thomas wasn't entitled to engage with eligibility to complete in, in WA com competitions. It goes on to say, that World Aquatics welcomed the news, hailing it as a major step forward in our efforts to protect women's sports, which I 100% agree, and the group told the outlet World Aquatics is dedicated to fostering an environment that promotes fairness, respect, and equal opportunities for athletes of all genders, and we affirm this pledge. They introduced their new roles after Thomas beat Olympic silver medalist Emma Wyant by 1.7 seconds to win WS to win NCAA gold. And it's a scientific document backing their ban on those who have undergone many or any part of male puberty. Uh, WA said swimmers like Thomas retain physical advantages. So we'll be going, I'll be showing you a video uh, going over the stuff like this. But this is, this is huge, guys. As I said before, it was last year, well, it's been the past probably three years, give or take, maybe but mostly two years where this whole pride and transgender type stuff is just not working no on the for the normal people. It's just not. Just because of the mere fact that people are getting tired of it. We're seeing huge backlash towards to people um, uh, doing burnouts on uh, doing burnouts on pride flags or, or on murals and stuff like that to where people are just getting fed up and not liking this stuff. This is what I was telling these people a long time ago. When you push this push this stuff down people's throats and force it force it in their face 24/7, you're going to get backlash. You're going to get people to dislike you. You're going to get people who can't stand you because it's being pushed in their throat 24/7. Do you do whatever you want, but don't push it down people's throats. Now that you did this, now the backlash is here, and now no, everybody's getting tired of it. And this is a huge women for women, because now we're seeing here that, uh, 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 that uh, nobody's dealing with this BS anymore, right? Nobody is dealing with this insanity that we have to be living with. And... Again, we're, it's just another win. And by the way, Thomas knows what he's doing, right? He knows exactly what he's doing. He wants to be able to have the ability to get free money and win free competitions and, and free competitions and honestly false medals and stuff like that because he's not able to compete at the highest level for men because he's nowhere near good enough. So he has to be a 
uh, a piece of garbage and go against women that he can easily beat because he's a failure as a, of a man and he can't do anything else for himself. Am I hitting the ballpark right here? Easy boy. Up here is a video showing where there's been dozens of lawsuits from many other high schools and places to where they are going against this insanity, right? And they're starting to win. And I don't think anybody is going to be able to deal with this. Nobody in their right mind is agrees with this and agrees with this. And the down low people are pretty much just uh, um, uh, really just don't agree with this ideology with this type of stuff. So without further ado, here's the actual clip. Dozen college athletes filed a lawsuit against the NCAA accusing it of violating their Title IX rights after they allowed a transgender swimmer to compete in the Women's National Championships. It names a University of Pennsylvania swimmer who competed for the school's men's team before her transition. Action News race and culture reporter Taronda Thomas is here with details. Taronda, this is a very important lawsuit for sure. It is, and it centers around a local swimmer, University of Pennsylvania swimmer Leah Thomas. She was allowed to compete on the women's swim team in 2021 after coming out as transgender and taking hormone replacements for two years. But some women in the sport say she should not have been allowed to compete, and now they're suing. In the pool, Leah Thomas has become a champion. Outside the pool, she's become a lightning rod, now the center of a lawsuit over whether transgender women should be allowed to compete against women assigned female at birth. A new lawsuit says that by allowing transgender athletes like Thomas to compete, the NCAA is violating Title IX, a law meant to protect women in sports. Pennsylvania Representative Barbara Gleim agrees as co-sponsor of the Fairness in Women's Sports Act. I applaud um, this group of women for standing up for themselves and standing up for Title IX. The lawsuit involved more than a dozen women athletes, many of them swimmers, saying, quote, each plaintiff's story demonstrates the harm being done to women that results from the NCAA's radical departure from Title IX's original meaning. But longtime transgender advocate Elizabeth Coffey Williams says transgender women should be included in Title IX protections. Trans women are women. They're not perpetuating any type of fraud in order to dominate a sport. The NCAA says it can't comment on pending litigation, but that it will continue to, quote, make unprecedented investments in women's sports and ensure fair competition in all NCAA championships. But inherently, uh, biological males are going to have an advantage over females. It's not fair. Trans women are not always stronger or bigger. Additionally, there are many indicators that contribute to success in sport. The lawsuit also seeks to have wins and championships by transgender athletes like Thomas taken away, saying, quote, the NCAA and its members are not above the law and must comply with it. So, yeah, there you have it. And... The thing of the matter is, is that, as I said before, people are waking up and realizing that we can push back, we can push back to this insanity, and we don't have to live in this loony bin, looting bin, looty tune world anymore. Uh, again, this is one run pride month that I can say that is probably the best, because people are trying to push it people are pushing back against it in fact outright just hitting it all together there isn't a lot of gatherings or a lot of people talking about this stuff a lot of businesses have not really been showing their uh want for pride type of stuff at all and i, I think people are tired i think this is the pushback that we need it was this has not been a good pride month at all for these pride individuals and i think in 2024 it will be even less scarce and that's a good thing because we don't need this bs pushed down our throats you don't need it i don't need it the pride people actually don't need it either and the only thing they're using it for is to push down people's throats to, uh to you know try to justify their fetishes or what have you and that's just not needed at all if you want to have do if you want to have this type of stuff do it in your own home do it in your own home nobody cares but pushing out the people's uh, throats is not the right way to do it all right guys that's it for video like to try to share as always take care my friends i'm disgusted by what i see in public even people closest to us can't be trusted because it's algorithmic disease the social media